Good evening, Osman. How are you today? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. All fine. Very fine. Very good. Right on time. Right on time. How are yes, you? Yes. How was your day today? Uh, my day was the same yesterday. <laughs> because uh, almost all day I was on meeting. In meeting. In meeting. In what department do you work? What department do you work for? Uh, engineering. Engineering. Ah, engineering. Engineering what? department. What company yes. do you say? Engineering. Uh, Tegra. Uh, uh, the Decotex company. My ah, company okay. is in American Park. In American Park, what do you American produce? Park. 
American uh, teachers. Teachers. Uh, teachers. Simple teachers, I mean, you know, like. Teachers. Uh, 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 long sleeve, short sleeve, uh, muscle, tank. Oh, okay. But the, we, we, we work to brand Nike. 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 Nike, 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 Nike is the truth. Nike. Nike. Yes. Hey, very good, very I good. I work for Nike, by Nike, by Nike, yes. What kind it of... It's a big company. Tell me. Yeah, well, what do you have, lines or models? Uh, models. Models, oh, okay. Yes. Yes, uh, lines... Uh, there is a problem about uh, inventory, uh, but uh, models is good. Depends. Almost zero uh, inventory, huh? Yes, almost zero inventory. Yeah, um, with with lines, you you need to have uh, uh, how much? Well, depending on, on on the goal of the line. Like for example, yes. if you are going to produce two thousand like teachers. You know, I remember I, I work in lines, okay? 40 machines, 2,000, 2,000 teachers okay, per really? day, okay, <laughs> easily, maybe 2,400, okay? That yes, was the goal. Yes. So, but you need to have at least uh, 1,000, 1,000 inventory. Good evening, Alicia. Good evening. How are you today? I'm great, and you? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now waiting. Uh, Madeline, how was your day Hello. today, Alice? Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Yeah. How, was, how was your day, Madeline? Oh, it was good. I was working all day. Really? As you really? Did. Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, sending Liz? videos. Sending videos all day. Okay, sending videos. Okay, yes. uh, I don't know if you noticed that I sent you an, an email yes. around uh -huh. 5.30. So can you... Hello, download? Alicia. Hello. Uh, yeah, I, I sent you an email around 5 or 5.30, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. About the, two emails, two emails, uh, teacher. Two emails, right? Yes, I received two emails. Okay. I have so, one. I have one about the present perfect. Exercises, okay. But the ones that I sent you today, that's what I need you to open because to the exercises, oh, okay. to the exercises that we have, I add one more exercise to do today. Present, present perfect mm -hmm. passive exercises. Exercises, correct. Okay, so did you download that? Okay. Okay, have it ready. Have it ready because mm -hmm. we are going to do that exercise. Okay. But okay. I don't know if okay. And it, right now, I'm gonna paste it uh, in the chat. But you okay? know that it's the same that you sent me yesterday. It's the same, or it's no? Other? It's not the same. It's not it's the other. same. It has it has one more exercise. Mm -hmm. Affirmative form, object and plus half. Yes, it's okay. Active and pass and passive. Uh huh. Continue. Continue. There are four okay. exercises. Four okay. exercises. Quick exercise. The last one, the one that has sixteen, the one that has sixteen exercises. Okay. Um. Yeah, but it's too heavy for the chat. You see. Okay. So. Hello, Oscar. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, I think that was a normal day. I just been working. I, I was uh, working. I was working and Uh-huh. Reports. 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 Reports about my job. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. 
Okay, and how about you, uh, Annie? How was your day today, Annie? Fine, fine. What about okay. you? Did you have a lot of work today, Annie? Yes, in this moment I work. You are working right now? Oh. Yes. Okay, very good. And Alicia, how was your day today, Alicia? Uh, it was great and busy because I have to clean all the house in the morning and in the afternoon I had a, a class and I did some homework that I have to send uh, later. Okay, very good, very good. And what about you, Nina? Yes. How was your day today? Fine, teacher. <laughs> very, very relaxing. I huh? in my house. I cook every day. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, okay. Probably you cook something delicious, huh? <laughs> yes. What do you say, eagle? A liver. 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 Liver yeah. with beans for the dinner. <laughs> ah, okay. Very good. Let me show you. I'm going to put it in the... I'm going to share. Okay. Can you see? Okay. So that was liver. 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 Okay. Very good. Now, how about you, Jather? How was your day today, Jather? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, this day, I had nothing interesting. Nothing. It just happened. No, no. Okay, a, a, a normal day, a, as usual. No. Uh, normal day is uh, hard work. Hard work, normal day. Oh. Normal day, yes. <laughs> okay. How about you, Blanca? How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day today? Um, I am tired, teacher. My day it was um, a lot of job. A lot of work. Yes, a lot of work. Ah, okay. I understand okay. that. Okay, so, hey, but don't worry. With this, with this class, you are going to relax. Okay. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> I have a question. Aha, uh -huh. what is your question? Um, um I want I want to continue in the next month. Uh -huh. But I have five absence from class. Uh, Wait, two, in this in this model. Yes. You have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, <laughs> you cannot miss any more classes. Okay? Okay. And Do be you on time. Be I'm... on time and stay until the end. Okay? Until okay. the end. I'm going to try to, probably we're going to finish at 10.10 10 today. Remember that today is, uh, who is today? My, uh, I forgot, but uh, uh, I think is, I don't remember. I'm going to get that. Okay? But uh, uh, we are going to extend the class to 10.10 10, so you can have more minutes just in case when you came late. Is that clear? Okay, teacher. So stay until the end. I know that you're tired, but stay until the end. Hello, Beatriz. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine today. Okay. How was your day? Uh, a little bit tired. A little I bit can. tired. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Now, Beatriz, when do you have your personalized uh, interview? Um, on Friday. Friday, right? Friday. So uh, I can't remember who's going to be tonight. I think it's, well, I, I'm going to, I have a read, I've written it somewhere. Teacher. Yes? The exercise. The exercise exercise. for. Perfect. The what? Yes. Yesterday you said that today we check 
the present perfect, the passive voice. Exactly. We are going to check that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And after I uh, check this, we are going to check your attendance. Okay. So very good. Uh, let me check the screen for you. Hello, uh, uh, Daniel, how are you today? Okay, can you see the screen right now? Assessing risk. Assessing risk, that is the name of this unit, unit number four. So risk. that is risk assessment, okay? And remind me that today Remember, today we are going to check the attendance three times, okay? And uh, please work on the platform every day because Friday, you're gonna have to do the final test, okay? Not on the class, not on the video conference, but after the video conference, some of you already did the final test, but, so, uh, but you have to do it before, uh, before noon. So, so work on every, every day, go and do the task on the platform, okay? And remember to participate in the forum, okay? So today's objective is discuss the effects of risks and hazards on the business operation. And we are going to review passive voice with the present perfect, discuss the let's start questions, Role play a conversation about the creation of the creation of, of a safety measure manual and describe effects caused by hazards and risks and rank the impacts of risks and hazards at the workplace. Okay, so that is the agenda for today. Now, before we move on okay i want you i'm going to check attendance okay very good jader edamer mejia present teacher thank you blanca estela perez de vasquez present teacher thank you maria eugenia cruz de magaña no yet no yet okay let's see an agency jovel valiente Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, Oscar Eduardo Majano Guevara. Present. Thank you. Raul Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Present. Thank you. Nínive Saraí Hernández Zelaya. Present. Okay. Marta Beatriz Alegría Barahona. Present. Thank you. Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. No yet. Okay, uh, Rafael René Molina, no yet. Maria Adelina Araya Menendez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Alicia Carolina Lopez Nunez. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Yamilet Fuentes. Daniel Osvaldo Perez Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Eh, Verónica Beatriz Mendoza Álvarez, no yet. Ok, Ana del Carmen Cortés de Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Alexandra Flores, no yet. Ok, Kenia Johanna Pérez. And Vanessa Alexandra Armas. Ok, very good. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to go, remember that I sent you today, I sent you an email, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I add, I send you that email because I added one more exercise to the list of exercises, okay? So I want you that you have in hand the last email that I sent you, the, the one that I sent mm -hmm. you today around five o'clock. So I want you to okay. download that email, that file, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, and have it ready. Okay, so it's basically this, okay? Let me share the screen with you. 
okay? The exercises right here. I have it right here. Okay, so we were doing this exercise. Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. Somebody has watered the plants. Do you remember? That was the exercise yes. that we did yesterday in mm -hmm. pairs. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so one by one, one by one is going to be doing, um, it's going to be, it's, you are going to change that active voice sentence into passive. Okay, so number one, eh, Alicia, somebody has watered the plants. Uh -huh. The plants, uh -huh. the, plants the plants have been watered. Uh -huh. Have been watered. Have, have been watered. Have been water. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Number two, Madeline. What um, is number two? Money. The, the money, money uh, have, has, has been taken. Has been taken. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Osman, the next one. Smile. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I was man, mute. I was mute. Uh, the present has been bought. The presence has been has been or have been. Look at the subject. It's plural. Present. Ah, it's plural. It's plural. Okay, so the present. Ah, let, let me see. The present have been have been, been bought. bought. Okay, very good. Both. Have been bought. Okay. The next one, gather. The report. The report has been finished. Okay, very good. The report has been finished. Okay, real good. Okay, the next one, Blanca. The president has been killed. The president has been killed. Okay, very good. The next one is, let me see who are in. Let me see if somebody else has come in. Blanca, Blanca Alicia, Madeline, Oscar. Do the next one, Oscar. The road has been revived. Okay, very good. The road has been repaired. Very good, excellent. Okay, the next one is, let me see. Annie, what about the next one? Number seven. Has been elected. Who? That man. Ah, okay, very good. That man has been elected. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, uh, Beatriz. Lessons has learned. Lessons have... Lessons have... have Learn. No, what else do we need, Beatriz? Have been. Ah, okay, have been learned. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, the next one. Okay, uh, Ninive. John has been fired. John has been Fire. Very good. Wow. You're great students. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, who is next? Uh, Daniel. What about the next one, Daniel? New books have been ordered. New books, new books have been ordered. Have been ordered. Very good. Have been ordered. Excellent. 
Okay, the next one, Raul. Um, the meal has been prepared. The meal has been prepared. Excellent, very good. Okay, has been prepared. The next one. Okay, let me see, we're gonna go back. Blanca, what is the next one, Blanca? The email has been sent. The email has been sent. Hey, excellent work. Okay, very good. The next one, Osman. Uh, what number? Sorry. Number 13, number 13. Okay. Uh, the hating... The what? No, 13, 13, not 14. Asking... Ah, 13. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh, the, the strawberries, the, the strawberries uh -huh. have, have been eating. Had been? The strawberry, strawberries? Have been eaten. Okay, have been eaten. Very good. Have been eaten. The next eaten. one, eaten. Alicia. Okay. The heating. The heating. Has been fixed. Has been fixed. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Very good. Next is modeling. What is the next one? Coffee has been made. Coffee has has been made. Has made. been made. 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 Made, uh -huh. that is the pronunciation. Make, made, made. Make, make, made. Okay, very good. Now, the next one is Rafael. What is the next one, Rafael? The song has been downloaded. Okay, the song has been down, downloaded. Okay. Air conditioning, the air conditioning. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. Now, gather. <laughs> Do number 16, please. Okay. A flat has no, been... Number 16. Number 16. The air. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. The air conditioning the air. has been turned. Okay, has been turned. turned on hey real good very good now number 18 uh, alicia a flat a flat has been rented a flat has been okay. rented now do you know what is a flat no a yes, flat apartment apartment usually in europe in yeah. europe they don't call it apartment. In Europe, they call it a flat, okay? Flat. Especially okay. in England, especially in England. Okay, Oscar, the next one. Okay, the holiday has been booked. The holiday has been booked. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay. Aha, welcome, Andrea. What is the last one, Andrea? We are doing the passive voice exercises, Andrea. So, number 20. The, the kitchen. The, the kitchen uh, has. Has. Uh, yeah. Clean it. Wait, wait. We bean. need. You see all. Do you see? We need that in all. Perdón, bean. Ah, bean. 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 Very good. Bean. Clean. Cleaned. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Now, before we do this, okay, let's do this exercise. Okay. This one, I want you to do. Okay. Now, in this one, we have to say bye, okay? Now, number one, 
Okay, can you help me? Everything. Everything. Have been eaten. Uh -huh. When we talk about everything, anything, and something, mm -hmm. and nothing, always third person singular. Oh, so, okay. Does have, has, has been eaten by day. Uh -huh. Has been eaten has been by eaten. And they. here we need object pronouns, by them. Them. By ah, okay. them, right? By them. Because it's an object. The subject becomes yes. an object. Okay, okay. very okay. good. We are going to do one more. For the ones that just came in, this is the, the, the exercises that we are doing is about the email that I sent you today around five, five o'clock. Okay, so please... Go to your email and download and download the file. So, because after number two, I'm going to put you in groups so you can work in groups doing the exercises. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Yes. So, you must have it in your computer. Mm -hmm. So, Andrea, Rafael, <laughs> let me see who else uh, just joined. Uh, Andrea, Rafael. That's about it. Andrea, Rafael, and Raul. So download the latest email that I have sent you. Okay? The latest. Okay. Yes. Okay? Very good. So if you have it in hand, we can proceed. Okay, now let's do number two. Okay, everybody help me. Mm, the rules in the world. The rules in the world have been put put have been put by them. Aha, uh -huh, no. Happen. But you see, Happen. this is negative. So Happen. here, the rules in the rule in two words have not been have been. Been. Okay, by them. By them. That is correct. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Now. Okay, so you are going to do the, the other 13, 14 exercises, okay? So I'm going to put you in pairs, okay? I'm going to break you into pairs. Let's see. We are... We are 13, so we are going to make six groups, okay? One group is going to have three participants, okay? There you go. Join your group, please. Join your group. What is the word? Join your group, please. Annie? Join Alicia in group number three, Annie, please. Okay, very good. It is yes, but but he add, add more 
exercise. Uh -huh. Is the last exercise. We are doing the last set of exercise. Go ahead. Uh -huh. This one that it has 16. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay, very good. So scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll up. Is, it... Scroll up. I'm sorry. Scroll up. Scroll. Uh -huh. So we have to do number three. Remember, okay. we did number one and we did number two. So okay. this is a question. Okay. Anything. Aha, uh -huh, but it's a question. So remember that questions begin with have or has. Has. Have. No. Have. No, remember the bean? Have any, uh, have been. Uh -huh. have been. Now, remember that I said, remember that I said, no, no, no. No, no. It's going to go after teacher. anything. I think... I, th I think it's anything has been No, because it's a question. Then. It's a question. Okay, but you have to change the have ah. for has. Because you remember that when I say everything, anything, something, always use it as singular. So has okay. anything. Now has we can. No, 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 no. Has anything. Right here is where you're gonna place the bin after the subject. Has anything? Has anything? Has anything been? Been? Been said? They say. No. Been said by. Been uh, said. Been said. That is correct. Been said. By. By. Them. By they. No. By they. them. Because oh, this is them. the subject, but when you put it here, it's an object, so it changed. Okay, then, very good. Okay, who's going to do the next one? Someone has stolen my collection. My colleague. My collection. Very my, good. My collection my has been stolen. Has by been in this case, we, stolen. We, we don't use stolen on, only that because uh, only that really yeah because it has to be stolen by someone so do we have to yes. say by someone no no okay no. now look no, very stolen. important when it's a question remember you have the auxiliary have or has the subject and then being in affirmative and negatives being is after the auxiliary but in questions is separated by the subject. Is that clear? So be careful. Okay. okay, keep on practicing. I'm gonna go to another group. Okay? Okay. Thanks. okay very good, very good. Okay. okay. Number five. Teacher. <clears throat> okay, yes, very good. Now oh. let's go to number yes. three. Okay, yes, remember that this is the question. Right? Yes. So uh, yes. the question has to begin with have or has. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's so uh, has. Remember that I said like everything, something, or anything, all of those start with third person. Uh, no. Now, has wait, they. wait, wait, wait. Okay. So has, then the has subject. They. No, has, okay. Has, now the subject, they, anything. They, they. No, has the sub subject now is anything. Uh -huh. Has anything now goes been. Okay, because it's a question, right? They said. Being they said, said. Uh -huh. being said. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Now you need the past participle of this verb, said. It's the same, uh -huh. said by them. Well, no, the them, because here is the <laughs> object, right here is the object, period. Uh -huh. Question mark, question mark, very good. Yeah. Okay, no, no, question, yeah, because question. It's, no, question question mark. Mark. it's a question mark, that is correct. Okay, number well. four. <laughs> um, okay. uh, wait, wait, my collection? Before, wait, before you do number four, remember, when you are uh, 
transforming an active voice into a passive voice in a question, the auxiliary comes in the first position. And if it is information question, for example, what uh, has anything been said? In, in the case, if you need what, when, where, etc. Is that clear? So, okay. no, <laughs> separate, okay? You see have or has been is separated by the subject, okay? In the affirmative and in the negatives, that goes together, have or haven't been. But in the question, it's separated. The auxiliary, subject, then be. Okay, remember that in question. Auxiliary, subject, then. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, it's the my collection has been, has been stolen. Excellent, very good, has been stolen. Okay, period, period. Okay, next one, Beatriz. It's now, this to go. is the object. Can you see here the object? Her. Now, you have to choose to a subject. What is, the, what is the subject of her? She. Is she, exactly. Is she. So she, she hasn't. She hasn't. That is correct. Very good. No. It hasn't been. Hasn't been allowed. She hasn't been to go camping. Allowed to go, go camping. camping. Very By good. Mother. Uh huh. By her mother. No, no, no. She hasn't been. No, allowed. Wait. Allowed goes right here. After being, she hasn't been allowed uh -huh. Uh -huh. to go camping. To go camping. Uh -huh. You need mother. the two. You need the two. To go. <laughs> to go camping. Okay. To go camping. By. Her mother. Her mother. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. I'm going to go to another group and I'm going to come back, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. My bicycle. In the bean is saying when the old. Asking. O sea que okay. has anything been said? Exactly. Yes. Has okay. and then ah, okay. the subject because it is a question, right? Ah, okay. So has okay. anything? Uh -huh. Anything, anything being said? said? You eliminate by them. them. Yeah, okay. Right. Very good. By? Okay. By them. Very good. Uh, and the number let me, 11. This one, wait, 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 wait. Let me see this one. Let me see number five. She. 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 And then we need after the subject, what do we need? Ah, uh, the has. Uh -huh. has. Uh -huh. So we need the hasn't been. Hasn't been. Ah, okay. All this hasn't been allowed. Hasn't. So we eliminated to go. Then. Oh, uh -huh. allow. Uh huh. Uh huh. To go camping? No. Uh -huh. to ah, go okay. Camping. To go camping. Uh huh. Alone by, by her, mother. her mother. Exactly. Okay. So that is okay now. Okay. The number eleven. Yeah. The number eleven. I. Uh, we are not sure. Okay. Has my so parcel yet been my posted? Parcel? Because what is the object? Remember, my the parcel is yet. posted. So the object is my parcel. Okay. So has, my parcel. Has my parcel? No, has, has my parcel. My parcel. Mm -hmm. Yet. No, no, no. No, no. Been. Have been posted. posted. Yes. That's okay. all. So you yes. eliminate parcel. That is correct. So has my parcel been posted yet? Oh, By okay. someone. Right, we don't need to put it. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Your new bicycle has been stolen. Have the flowers been watered by, by you? By you. Uh -huh. By you. That is the object. Okay. Okay. By you. And in the in number ten. Number nine. Number, number nine. nine. By you. Oh, by you. By you only. Okay. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And everybody has checked those exercises. Those exercises have been checked by everybody. In this case, we need it, okay? Because it's not someone, it's everybody. So we need ah, by, by everybody. everybody. Check uh, by, by everybody. everybody. Okay. Okay, very okay. good. Very good. Okay, continue. No. I'm going to go to okay. another group. Okay. okay. No. And remember, now, look, remember, when it's a question, you need have or has, then the uh -huh. subject, then being, and then the past participle. The same okay. as number three, has or have plus the subject plus being plus the past participle. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to go to another group. Bye. Bye. Have okay. fun. Thanks. <laughs> and. Okay. Bye. Mm. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, Oscar. Okay. okay. Usually. Usually, the jet, this one is okay. It's okay to put it that, that way. But the most commonly, the most commonly is at the end. So, uh, has my parcel been posted by someone yet? Okay, uh, okay. So you put that yet at the end, okay? okay. That is correct. Very good. Your okay. new bicycle has been stolen. Okay, let's see number three. I want to see number three. Okay, very good. So, has anything been said by them? Perfect. And remember, in questions, we have the auxiliary have or has, then the subject, then the... Se lo voy a arreglar. Se lo voy a arreglar. So, remember that. Okay, very good. The rest is perfect, okay? So, keep on working. I'm going to go to another group. Okay. Very good. Good work. Good work. Okay. 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 Deja, se lo voy a, de la vuelta, mi amor, para que se lo arregle. Okay. Um, no, she, she broke her arm. She has been... No. What number are you doing? What number are you doing? <laughs> number 16. 16. Uh, number 16. Okay, so... Look, Jack has visited Helen. So Helen okay. is the object. Yes. So now Helen. 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 Helen has has been visited every other day since she broke her every arm. Every other day she broke her arm by Jack. By Jack, that is correct. Okay, uh, now, yes. okay, has someone posted my parcel yet? Okay, do number 11, I want to see. Number 11. 11. I did it. Yeah, number my, 11, what is my it? My parcel yet has been posted. No, because by it's a one. question, wait, it's a question, meddling. So, because oh. it's a question, you have to begin with have or has. Because he's has a question. Has my parcel. Uh -huh. Has my parcel. Has my parcel. Been, post, been posted. Posted uh -huh. someone. Yet. By someone. By someone. Yes. Yeah. So has someone yet. my parcel been. Has my parcel uh, been posted. Teacher, teacher este, can, I, can you repeat it please? Because I don't understand when that, when it's a question. Yeah, when, when it's question, a question, you have to begin, like in this question, you begin with has or have, depending on the subject. So in this okay. case, it's my parcel. So I'm going to begin with has. Has, okay. has my parcel. Has my parcel uh, has been, been posted. No, by no, 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 no has again. You already use it right here. Has my parcel. Been. Been. Been posted. Yes. Posted. Uh -huh. Has. Ah, mi parcela sido posteada. 
Todavía. My parcel has posted. No, has my parcel been? In. Been, been. Ah, uh, my. Ah, uh, okay. My. Uh, no. Has my parcel been posted? Uh -huh. mm, by, by someone yet. Okay, very good. Now, can you scroll up, uh, Ninive? Can I'm you sorry? scroll up? Scroll up. Yeah, go, up, go to number three. Scroll up. Uh, scroll up is uh, subirla. Can oh, you scroll okay. Up? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, scroll down is this way and scroll up is that way. Okay, very good. You are speaking in okay. Japanese. The number three. Under teacher. Okay, so number three, yes. Uh, number three. Let me wait. Uh, number, ah, so number three. How they so. say anything? So, how? Uh -huh. So, what is what? number three? Can you do number three, please? Is how they anything? How anything being say they? No, by them. By them. By them. By them, sorry. By them. Okay, now, no harm because I told you everything, anything, something, we use it as third person singular. So in this case, you have to use has. So has, has anything, has, has anything, has anything been? Been. Say them. Said by them. By them. Remember. By them. You need the prepos you need the by phrase. By them. By you. By me. By him. By, by us. her. By us. By, by us. him. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. By okay. Us. So keep on working, please. I'm gonna go to another group. Okay, okay teacher. He hasn't been. He hasn't been slept. He in his bed. Same. Okay. Now. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Okay, this one, number 12, you cannot make passive voice. We cannot? No, because this is not the object. Okay? So you need an object, and this is not the object. Okay? So you cannot make it. But I want to, uh, can you do number 11, please, for me? Okay. My parcel had been posted. Okay, that yes. would be okay. That would be okay if it had been an affirmative statement, but it's a question, right? So what is as a question? So you have to begin with have or has. In this case, my parcel is a singular subject. So you are yes. going to begin with has. Yes. Has. Has. We write it up. My parcel has been. Has my parcel been? Oh. Uh -huh, because it's a question. Has, it's a question. Yes. Uh -huh, yes. Has my parcel been posted? Yes. By someone yes. yet? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. When okay. when this question, uh, you begin with have or has. If it's yes. a yes and no question. If it's a double H okay. question, then you're going to begin, okay, what has been said by them? What has been said by them? Is that clear? Now, yes. let's see number three. Can you do number three? It's also a question. Has been they say anything? No, 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 no. Again, what is the subject? The, su the object is anything. So Anything. Uh -huh, that is, remember, after the verb is the object, okay? So? Mm -hmm. They have been no, saying. No, 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 no. What is the object? Remember, the object becomes the subject. Anything. Uh-huh, so, but it's a question. I need have or has. 
have have anything no do. because we no. said that everything anything <laughs> something and nothing are going to be treated as singular so what will be the auxiliary has 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 been said no no has and the subject has they no has has, they? no is this this is the subject in in the in the active voice but the object is your new subject. So has. Okay. Has anything. Uh huh. Has anything say. No, you need been. And where is yes. been? Uh huh. Has anything been. Been. Say. Said by them. By them. And remember, this is the subject, but when you use it in the by phrase, it's the object. So, for example, I is transformed to me, you to you, he to him, she to her, right? Okay. And we to us, they to them. Okay, so remember in questions, you use the auxiliary first, yes. then the object, which is the new subject. Okay, then being, then the past participle of the verb. Okay? Okay. And in the case of number 12, okay, we cannot do passive voice to this one because we don't have an object, okay? I explained that, okay? Teacher, okay, good. teacher. Yes? Teach, you, yes? Say, you say in number three, the object, anything, is going to be a subject. The, the subject in the passive voice. Okay, has anything been said by them? By, ahora, hagámoslo en español. ¿Ha cualquier cosa sido dicho por ellos? Ah, ahí está el has. ¿Cualquier cosa sido, been, said, dicho by them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. ¿Ha sido okay. cualquier cosa dicho por ellos? Okay, so that mm -hmm. is the same, the same pattern. Is that clear? Okay. So remember, okay. in questions, we need the auxiliary, then the, the object that is the new subject, then being, then past participle. Okay? Okay. So two more minutes. Remember, number 12, you cannot do it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. If there is another group that I haven't visited. No, I didn't. <clears throat> number 13. My dinner place has been broken my my dinner place no it will be two, two, ah. two, two of my dinner place has been broken have been broken yes. because two of my dinner plates is plural have. yeah two two of us might be my dinner plate has been uh -huh. broken by been someone. Broken. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Two now thousand. I'm going to have to stop you guys. Good practice, guys. Very good. Good practice. Hello, Veronica, and hello, Eugenia. How are you today? Okay, let me check the list again, okay? Yeah, there, I'm fine, thanks. Sorry for being late. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Blanca Estela Perez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Maria Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Bessie Anayensi Jovel Valiente. It's not present. Okay. Eh, Oscar Eduardo Majano Guevara. Present. Thank you. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Turn on the microphone, Raúl. Raúl. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. 
Okay, I come back. Nini Besaraí. Present. Thank you. Marta Beatriz Alegría Barahona. Present. Thank you. Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. No present, Ángel. Okay. Álvaro. Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. No present. Rafael yeah. René Molina. Present, sir. Okay, very good. Thank you. Rafael. Ok, Raúl Rivera, Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Disappear. Ok, María Adelina Araya Menéndez. Present teacher. Thank you, Alicia Carolina López Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Okay. On. Alicia Car ah, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Cecilia Fuentes. Eh, Daniel Osvaldo Pérez Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Verónica Beatriz Mendoza Álvarez. Present. Thank you. Ana del Carmen Cortés de Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Alexandra Flores Chacón. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Johanna Pérez Pérez. Absent. Vanessa Alexandra Armas Ros Rosales. Ok. Raúl Mauricio Rivera Saldívar. Ok. On. Teacher, Raúl said that he come back in a second. I'm sorry. I'm back. Ok. <laughs> Raúl, Raúl Mauricio Rivera. Is here. Present. Okay, thank you. Very good, guys. Now, let me share my screen with you. Okay? Now, uh, look. Now, there are some limitations in uh, transforming active voices into passive voices. For example, number 12, he hasn't slept in his bed. As you can see, we need that the object, like for example, my parcel is the object, is after the verb. Uh, your new bicycle is after the verb is stolen. Uh, two of my dinner plates is after the verb broken. Okay, so these, we need the object because it's the new subject. Now, in this case, he hasn't slept in his bed. So in this case, this is not the object. Remember, the object is where the action falls, but in this case, it doesn't fall on anything, okay? Mm -hmm. So in this case, we cannot make passive voice because we don't have an object. This is complement, not an object. It this can. is an object because what has been broken? Two of my dinner plates, okay? Uh, yes, the words, uh, all the words, after the verb is the first in the in the in that case okay yeah the words after the verb but but they have to answer the question what or who what, what or who, who? uh-huh for example hasn't slept what or who it doesn't say in his bed okay so in his bed is not the object because it doesn't answer the question what or who. So it's not the object of this question. So in this case, to make the passive voice, you need the object becomes the subject. But if you don't have an object, you cannot make a passive voice because you don't have a subject. I don't know if that is clear. So in this case, it's active. Is only active. So you, the only way to say this is in active voice. Oh. You cannot say this in passive voice because you don't have an object. For example, here the verb is made. Okay, what what has somebody made? Ah, any mistake. Any mistakes. Yes, this is the object. You see. Now here has somebody <clears throat> done all the work. What has somebody done? All, all the, work. the work. So all the work mm -hmm. is the object. So yes. when you don't, when you, when you can't find the answer to that question, then you don't have an object. In that case, 
the passive voice is not possible to be made. Okay. okay? Uh, teacher, teacher, in the 16, uh, I, I'm i not sure the, about the answer. Okay, now Could let's you see. Please Jack explain. has visited. Has mm -hmm. visited who? Helen. Ah, so Helen is the object. Ah, okay. So and in this what case, is the you're going to say Helen. Helen? Has been visited. Has been visited. She brought her Every other day. She brought her arm by Jack. Okay. So Helen has been visited. Every other day. She brought her arm by Jack. By Jack. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Now, in this exercise. In this exercise that we have right here, here it says complete the sentences. Uh -huh. Now here you have to decide, is, the, is this sentence active or passive? For example, the car is still. So what are you going to say? Probably this is passive. The car One has, has been stolen. stolen. So is Passive boys. That clear? Yes. Now, now in this one, I. Is active. I have been. No. no it, is active. It's I, active, right? So I have to say I, I have, have been a K. Okay. So, right, because, uh -huh, so in this one, you need a passive voice. In this one, you need an active voice. So okay. you have to decide whether is the sentence is active or bad. Okay, this exercise you are going to do it with me. Let's okay. see. My friends have bought a house. Oh, sorry. No, no, in the other. So my friends, my friends have, 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 have both. Have both. Have have bought house. A house. a house is active. No, is active. Is active. Okay, very yeah, good. Now passive. this one. It's passive. This is passive. Uh huh. So how is it? The cow. The cow has been put. Uh -huh. Has been has been, has been put, 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 put on the table. No. Uh -huh. the table. And look here. El carro ha sido robado. Ah, here we need a stolen. 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 The car has been stolen. Now this one, uh, yo he horneado un pastel. My friends, mis amigos han comprado una casa. And this one, la taza ha sido, ha sido la puesta en la mesa. Is that clear? Very good. Yes. Now, the yes. next one. Trees. Is passive. Trees have been planted. 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 Planted. Correct. Trees have been planted. Arboles have been planted. Passive. Very good. Now, what about this? The boy it's active. Has the boy has, has fallen. not fallen. Uh -huh. fallen. Has not fallen. And you need the past participle of fall. Hasn't fallen off his bike. El niño no okay. se ha caído de su bicicleta. Okay. Active boys. Okay, very active. good. Now, the next the one. Next. I... I have not I, beaten. I have been. I have not been. I haven't been. No, I have not beaten. I haven't. I haven't beaten. Beaten. No, 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 no. I have been. Aha, no. been. Yes. I have been. I haven't been. been. Why? Because I have hey, one, one thing. Look, by mm. a snake. So that can tell you that it's passive, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yes. Haven't been, been, been by bitten. 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 bitten by a snake. By uh, yo no he sido mordido por una culebra. Okay, right? okay. Okay, so I haven't been bitten by a snake. 
Okay, very good. Next. Has been. He hasn't been. He hasn't been. On my toe. He's active. He's active. He's active. He's active. He's active. Okay, so how is it then? He has stepped. He has, he has stepped. 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 On my toe. He has stepped on my toe. Él se ha parado. En mi dedo. Dedo de pie. On my toe. On my toe. He has stepped. He has stepped on my toe. Okay, the next one. Exactly. We, we have walked. Has walked. Have, have been walked. Walk. No, no, no. It's not passive. It's okay. exactly. we have walked all, all the way home. We have walked all the way home, right? So, nosotros mm. hemos mm. caminado todo el camino. Todo el camino a casa. Okay, so very good. And the last one? Mm -hmm. and she has she not been picked up. Has been, has been, been, has been, been, been picked up by a friend. Get out pick, by get a friend. Pick it up. Been, Picked up. up. Picked up so, by a friend. friend. Okay. Ella no ha sido recogida por un amigo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, we walk it. We have walked. Walk. Is passive. Walk. No, active. No, it's active. Active. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And Why is active? Because passive boys remember needs been. Okay. Right? And this one is active because we don't need it. Okay? All right. And we right. we are not we are not uh, focusing, we are not focusing, we are not paying attention on the object. We are paying attention on the subject. Subject. Here. Okay. This passive. No, I yeah. okay, very good. So that is that's it. Now I want you to go to the book. Let me Thank see where I have the book. I have the book right here. Okay, so right now I want you to go and want you to go right here. Okay, now I don't know if we studied the grammar chart. Okay, so here we have, here we are. Uh, yes. I need a volunteer to read. Please. We did, we did, teacher, we did, we did it. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. Yes. We did with, with Madeline. Ah, with Madeline. Yes. Okay. So that when you when you are not thinking. Okay. So look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Okay. Start reading. Veronica, start reading, please. Okay. The passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentences is on the action and not on the subject. It's not on the subject, right? The emphasis is on the action, not on the subject. And repeat after me. Used. 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 It's not used. Is used. We used. Down at the end. Used. 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 Okay, very used. good. Uh, Rafael, read 1A, please. Your goggles have been taken away in contracts to 1B. They haven't taken your goggles away. Okay, so you see in 1B, they have taken your goggles away. So we are uh -oh. making emphasis away. on they. Over. Here, we are not making, this is passive voice, we are not making emphasis on the subject. We are making emphasis on the action. Right? Okay. Okay, very good. So read uh, the next one. Uh, let me see. Uh, Eugenia. Maria Eugenia. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. In sentence. In sentence 1A, the person who took away the Googles is not important. It's not important. The fact that they were taken away is instant emphasized. Is instead, instead emphasized. Okay, so as you can see in this sentence, it's not important who took the goggles. It's, impo it's important that they have been taken away. Okay, 
That is the emphasis. Okay, now, look at, look at this formula. Look at this formula. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Anna, read this. Passive. Passive voice statement. Object plus have. Or has. Uh, has been plus verb and the verb in past participle form. Okay, very good, very good. Daniel, read 2A and 2B, please. Okay. Have my septic goggles been stolen? In, in contrast to this question, focuses on the same. No, 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 to be. Uh, to be. Uh, okay, okay. To be, uh, have they stolen my safety goals? Okay, very good. Uh, uh, Ninive, read this. This question. Okay, turn up that microphone. Okay, Ninive, are you there, Ninive? Yes, this question focus on the safety Googles, not in the person who stole them. Okay, now, very important, you know, passive voice doesn't matter the subject, it matters the action. And as you can see, it's a question, take a look, have, then the object, then being, and then the last part. Okay, so remember, have or has in question. Have or has, then the object that is the new subject, and then been, and then past participle. Okay, now complete the following sentence and questions in the passive voice and choose the appropriate verbs. Okay, now complete the following sentence. And sentences and questions in the passive voice. Okay. Uh, what is number one? Three new safety <coughs> measures have been has been have been created. Has been okay. no, have created. been created. created. Have been created. Okay, created. very good. Three new safety measures have been Created. Very good. Now, let's see number two. We, we, ah, you need the verb. You need the verb. Uh -huh. We have been. We have. We, have, we make. No. 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 Innovated. No. We have Innovated. Been, no. Because there are no. influence for the year. Give. Yes, you. Uh -huh. so yes, we, so. we have. We have. We have gave. Gave. No, and the bean. Where is the bean? The bean. So we. What is the passive voice? We have been. Have given. We have been. Have been given. 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 New year yes, so I we have been even new year new plus. Year plus. Okay, okay, very good. Now the next one, number three. The new safety goggles are the nice. Safety goggles are nice. They, they have they been, been, have been innovated. They have Innovated. No, issue. 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 They have been issued. What is the meaning issue? Issue is like him too. Here, let me show you. Like issue. Issue. Okay, let me show you. The issue. Uh, issue. And that's what this is a tool that you the, should have the, on your the computer. The screen is dark. Okay. The screening is dark. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, we make. Are you dream, Veronica? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, there you go. 
Papa. So, issue. I... Issue. Okay, I... listen to the pronunciation. Issue. 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 Now, issue. Issue, issue is emitido. Okay, give. Okay, so in this case, is give. Is that clear? In that yes. case, okay, so that is the meaning. Give. So, let's go ah, back to the... Uh -huh. Let's go back to the exercise. The new safety goggles are nice. They have been issued. They have been issued and issued with a D at the end, last participle, regular verb. Okay, now number four. The new steel two boots have been innovated. Uh -huh. Innovated of no, no, have been innovated because it says right here. Have, been, have innovated. Have been? Have been. Have innovated? Made. No. Have, have been made. made. Exactly. Have been made. Uh, have right. been the made. Steel toe boots have, have been made been. of genuine leather. leather. Have been made of genuine, genuine leather. leather. Have been made of well, genuine genuine. leather. Very good. Now, what has, about the next one? Has. Has the been. Safety officer. Uh, the new, has been the new safety been, officer, been, officer been, trained. Uh -huh, but what do we need? And where is the pin? Where is the pin? Has. has and remember, has, it's a singular subject. So here it should be. Has been. Has the new safety officer. Been, 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 ah, okay. been. Has the new safety officer been trained? Been trained. trained. Been trained. Okay. Trained. Been trained. Have we? Have we? Have we been have innovated? Have uh -huh, been innovated. giving. Given the new helmets, we use. Yeah, but you see, innovate doesn't innovate. go with any one of those. So, have we been given okay. the new helmets? Is that clear? No. no. Why no. is not clear? The the last. Why yes, is not clear? The last. No, yeah. Last why is not clear? Have we been given the new helmet? ¿Te nos han sido dado los nuevos, los nuevos cascos? Cascos, yes. Okay, so have we been given the new helmet? So you see, it's a mistake right here. Innovate, innovate doesn't go. So we use give twice. No problem. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, okay. No. Very good. Now, Okay, no more passive boys. Now we're going to work on this. Read the following paragraph and underline the passive boy sentences. Check your answers. Okay, now, can you tell me what is the first passive boy sentence? Many toll have been disorganized. 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 All over some working areas. All that is the first sentence. Okay? So, many tools have been left, have been left disorganized all over some working areas. Now, what is the second one? The safety manager has not been informed. 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 About the new safety, About the new safety measure. measure. Okay, very good. The new the the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measure. Okay, very good. The next one. I wonder I if he, he has interested. Ah, he's he going with job lately. 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 Very good. And the last interested. one. Interested. Is the interested. The the new employees have been. I think the rules for my new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the rules. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Yes. I didn't hear you. The pronouncing still in, in, in interested. Interested. 
interested. Interest, okay. interested, 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 interested. Okay. Interested. Okay, very good. Now this is homework. Okay, this is homework. Choose okay. one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson. You remember uh, office office uh, hazards, uh, fire and uh, electrical hazards, uh, hazardous substances, and sleep, uh, trips, and falls. So you are going to make a poster, okay? You are going to make a poster. New safety New measures. measures. To prevent falls, sleeps, and trips, remember to store all tools in proper location when not used. Keep all tools clean and in good working conditions and wear all safety gear while you are in this area. Okay? So you are going to make a poster about any of this about electricity and fire hazards, hazardous substances, and office hazards. You are going to make a poster like this poster. So you choose whatever you want. Is that clear? So you're going to make a poster. Yes. Okay. Yes, Veronica? Can you repeat, please? What is the page, teacher? What is the what? The, the, the page 37. The page is 30. 37. Thank you. Okay. So you're going to make a poster like this. question, teacher. Yes. A poster could be, the poster could be digital, I don't know, with a yeah, yeah, presentation, no. a PowerPoint, or a well, I would like to draw them. Yeah, well, yeah, you can put it in, a, you know, you can make it in a word page, okay? You can make it in a word page like this, okay? And put what are the things, what are the safety measures that you are going to uh, announce to prevent accidents. Is that clear? Depending, depending on the on which one you are going to use. For example, electricity and fire hazards, okay? To prevent any fires, you are going to say, okay, do this, don't do this, do this. Safety measures, is that clear? Okay, very good. So it's a simple yeah. poster, okay? That we are going to use tomorrow. Now, here, we say that we were going to discuss the effects of risk and hazards on the business operation. Okay, so now question number one. Can you read it, please? Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Question. Questions about this question. Do you understand the question? Mm, yes. Okay, what is the meaning of lack? What is the meaning of lack? Poco, poco. Ajá, escasez. Escasez. Would the lack of safety measures put the operation of a business in danger? Yes. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, right? Of yes. course. So if you have many safety measures, the, uh -huh. the operation of a business, it will be, it yeah. won't be in danger. Mm -hmm. It will be safe, right? Now, what could be some effects of lack of safety measures? Okay? Do you understand what, I, what will be the effects? Accidents, yes. fires, mm -hmm. slips, trips, falls. Right? Trips, trips. Ah, uh, slips, trips, and falls. Trips. And also, people will be poisoned and people will be sick yes. in accidents, right? So, take a look. Gladys and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. 
Now they are talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm. Question about this. No, no. No questions. No, 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 no. They are working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. Okay, so they are talking to a competitor at the eye of the storm. Okay. Now, you know what is the meaning of the eye of the storm, right? The storm. They are talking with a competitor that has problems. Okay. So, let's. Let's read okay. this. Okay. okay, turn off your microphones, please, for a moment. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a change of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Questions. As you can see, a competitor, this is the competitor, right? This competitor is at the eye of the storm. It, they are in trouble. That competitor is in trouble. Sue, Questions. what is the meaning Sue? Sue is to place a demand. For example, yeah, for example, uh, you break your leg at your work and then you sue your uh, employer. You demand your employer. You understand what is the meaning of sue? Demandar, poner una demanda. That is sue. 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 Uh -huh. So here it says they were sued. Ellos fueron demandados because an employee did die when manipulating heavy machinery. More questions? Him, him. What is the him. meaning him? him. No. Ah, here is a mistake. This is supposed to be heavy. Ah, okay. That is supposed okay. to be heavy. heavy yes. Exactly. So that is supposed ah, to be Heavy, okay? Heavy. That is a mistake on the book. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. More questions? Let me yes. put this back. Teacher, what are the meaning? Fine. Ah, fine. fine. That is multa. Okay? Fine. fine. Okay? What is the, the, the what is your uh, word, Veronica? Uh, uh, ah, no, say? change. You say change. Okay, change. 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 Okay, for change. example, can you see this? Look, look at me. Can you see this? What is this? It's a change. Uh, uh huh. Like a change of supermarkets. Super Selectos has a change uh, of yeah. supermarket. Cadena. So they have a change of negative effect. Okay, very good. More questions? Okay, only that. Are you sure? What is the meaning of loss of customers? Trust. Loss, loss of trust. Ah, exactly. And loss of trust in the organization. So that means that the employees are afraid. The, pro the employees are afraid that a, an accident might happen. Pérdida de confianza. Not teacher. Not Loss teacher. of trust. My teacher. question is trust. Yeah, trust, confianza. 
loss of Teacher. trust in the organization. So the people don't feel uh, safe in the organization. Oh. They are afraid. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. sir. In, in, in a coin, uh, we, can, we can read in God we trust. In God we trust, exactly. En Dios confiamos. In God we trust. Yes. God we trust. Hey, for example, with this pan, with this, uh, with this uh, pandemia that we had, people didn't want to go to work because they lost of trust in the organization. People were afraid to get sick. Is that clear? So loss of trust in the organization. More questions? Yeah. Yes. What are on their way? Uh -huh. is before is after negative effect might be on their way. Ah, on their way. Okay, so a change of negative effect might be on their way. Una cadena de efectos negativos podría estar en camino. Right? So they are going to have a lot of negative effects. What are those negative effects? Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes? No more questions. Okay, repeat after me. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. Hey, what happened? Only girls. What happened to the boys? Again, again I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. We're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Okay, oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Oh my, oh my, that's so bad, bad news. Bad news. Very, very bad publicity, bad publicity for, for the company. company. For the company. For the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A change of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Yeah, yeah. Okay, totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Totally. I'm so sorry, sorry. We're, we're, we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we are, let me see, so we are 15, okay, so we're going to make A groups, okay, there you go, okay, enter your group and practice the conversation, please. I am sorry. Enter. Enter the conversation, please, enter to your group. Andrea, enter. Daniel, 
Okay, Ana Nunez, enter to group number one, please. Ani, Ani, get into group number one, please. Okay, can you see the screen, Madeline? I need a classmate by the. No, you can practice with me. Okay. Can you okay. see the screen? Can you see the screen? Uh, yes, but I don't know the, the, the page. The page is page 38. Uh, better you ice cream, please. You ice cream, but I, I need to find and find it. No. Okay, it's, it's cream. Okay, hold on. There you go. Can you see it now? Uh, no, yes, yes, okay. okay I so am you are glad, glad it's I'm Miguel, go ahead. Okay, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad, bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Okay, now you are Miguel and Gladys. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more recently. I watched some new about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization and eventually final, financial loss. Financial loss. Financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved. We're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, once again, you are Gladys. Okay, I'm glad we're, we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some new about one of our competitors. They were sued because uh, of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Financial loss. What? Financial, financial loss. Financial loss. Financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved. We're done with the safety measures, Manuel. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, now we're gonna go back to- Okay, my, okay. Okay, we're gonna go only, back. Only financial is the, the word I mistake. Financial, I financial mistake. loss. Financial. Okay, everyone. Any questions? No, teacher. No questions? Are you sure? Yeah. 
Okay, now let's get to the book and let's answer the questions, the comprehension questions on the book. Okay, now this is what you're gonna do in pairs, okay? Now, what is contamination? So you are going to put here number one on the definition that you think corresponds to contamination, okay? The last one. <laughs> casualties, casualties, and so on, okay? So I'm gonna put you in groups of three, so you can do this. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, and discuss it, okay? Here we go. <gasps> My goodness, it's not that. No? Wait, 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 no, not yet, not yet. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna wait, okay? So we're gonna wait a little bit. Okay, don't go to the groups yet. Okay, <laughs> some, some classmates gone. <laughs> yeah, Rafael, and, 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 but I'm gonna get them out anyway, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> the thing is that right now I want trios, no pairs, so you can discuss. Okay. Discuss each turn, okay? Okay. But uh, because I made a mistake, I'm waiting for 30 seconds so they can break the groups, okay? Okay. Very good, very good, okay? Remember, today we're going to finish the class at 10 after 10, okay? Osman, you are... Uh -huh, with... Oh. Osman is the one that is going to have the personal interview today, okay? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, here we go. So I want to make, what happened? Someone left. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, no problem. Okay, get into pairs, please. What's wrong okay. with my group? Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead, now get in. Get in, please. Get in, get in, get in and discuss. I'll give you... Five minutes. Annie, okay, very good. Annie is there. Uh -huh. Who left Blanca?
Teacher, what happened? <laughs> what happened with the teacher? You finished, huh? You didn't. No, the stuff. It was a piece of cake. Yeah, okay. but very fast. Let's check it out real quick. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna be getting out in in a minute. Okay, there you go. There you okay. go, King. <laughs> Let's check it out. Ah, I need to check the list. Yader Edemer Mejia Batres. Present teacher. Very good. Blanca Estela Perez de Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Present. Thank you. Bessie Anayensi Jovel Valiente. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Majano Guevara. Present. Thank you. Raul Mauricio Rivera Saldivar. Present. Thank you. Nínive Sarayi Hernández Celaya. Present. Thank you. Marta Beatriz Alegría Barahona. <laughs> okay. Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. No present. Rafael René Molina Ventura. Present, sir. Thank you. Maria Adelina Araya Menendez. Present. Thank you. Alicia Carolina Nopez Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Fuentes. Daniel Osvaldo Pérez Aguilar. Daniel Osvaldo Pérez Aguilar. Present, teacher. Present. Yeah, thank you. Present. Veronica Beatriz Mendoza Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana del Carmen Cortés de Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Alexandra Flores Chacón. Andrea. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Very good. Eh, Kenia Johanna Pérez. Absent. Vanessa Alexandra Armas Rosales. Absent. Ok, guys. So quickly, let's see, let's check the answers, okay? Let's go to the answers of the book, okay? Now, contamination, what is contamination? Contamination is the last. The last. No, no, tell me the last. Tell me the definition. Waste, reduce, Very good. Very good. Okay, now, what is casualties? Employee dies in an accident operating a machine. A machine. Okay, so that is employees die in an accident operating machine. Okay, what is property damage? It's the first one. Machines often break down. Break down. Uh, machine often break down. That is property damage. And loss of customers? Customers. to another provide business. Uh -huh. yes. Customers or another provider or another business. Yes. Financial loss. The, cost, the, the company does money. The money. company loses. Loses. The company loses money. And business interruption. The production. The production stops. The production stops. The production Very good. Stops. The production stops Stop. now. Here, rank the impacts of risks and hazards at the workplace, okay? So this is what you're going to do. Uh -huh. From the least serious to the most serious, discuss your rank with a partner. You're going to do it in groups. For you, what is the most, the most serious impact of risks and hazards at the workplace? Okay, what is the most serious? Okay, so you discuss it in groups, all right? Here we go. Do you understand? Yes. You are going yes. to decide which one do you think has the most serious impact in the workplace, okay? Here we go. Okay. So you have? Yes, very good. 10 minutes to discuss that, okay? You ready? Okay, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna make uh, Half organizing in, in, 
that list. What list? Okay, go ahead. Get into your groups, please. You have 10 minutes. 10 precious minutes. So remember, number six is the least serious. Number one is the most serious. Get in, Raul. Get in, Raul. Okay, very good. Is have to be the the more rank because uh -huh. the highest rank yes, that's the most serious the most serious the most serious okay casualty you say right yes okay so that is your opinion what is your opinion oscar what is your opinion annie but remember here is where we when we talk and express our opinion. I think that the principal <laughs> risk in this case could be a business interruption. Because if you have a business interruption, interruption you have a financial loss, you have a loss of customers, maybe yeah. if the machine Activity. is inactive, you, they, it could be a damage to, um, and and all the employees uh, don't trust in you. Uh -huh. Loss of trust from the employees. Loss okay. of trust from the employees. Okay. Okay, right there. Loss of trust in the organization. Of, right. Okay. So yeah. go ahead. In your opinion, Annie, what is your opinion? Uh, for my opinion, casualties is the most important because for the um, the definition that having the page thirty eight um, when the employees have an accident in the company, usually. A demand sue 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 the company right the sue the company okay what is the that's for you okay now what is the second most serious okay you discuss it i'm gonna go in to another group bye okay. bye, bye. Uh, and those of customers why? Why? You have Business to explain why. <laughs> Love true. Yeah, you have to explain why. Okay. Because it's time. It's time to what? Trust. It's trust in the organization. So which is the most serious impact? Which one do you think is the most serious impact? Casualties. 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 No casualty. <laughs> casualties. Casualties. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Now you tell me why. Because everything could be a chain of bad publicity. Uh-huh. And Blanca, what is your opinion, Blanca? For me, it's lost um, truth in the organization. Why? Uh, because the, the people don't trust and uh, it, 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 Lost, lost the, the, the people, lost the customer. Aha, uh -huh, but that is loss of customers. 
But loss of trust is like the employees don't want to go to work there because they are afraid an accident may happen. Yes. Okay, and for you, Ninive? For me, casual. 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 Because, because uh, the workplace maybe uh, didn't prepare for, for that, don't, don't hope that, and, and only when I have the problem doing something. So it's, it's a big impact when I when yes. have something like that. Okay, let's go to the second one, most important. What is the second one? The second most serious. Okay. Um, Let's okay. the second most serious. The second is could be for me financial loss. Uh -huh. I agree with you. Why? Why? Yes. If you agree, explain. We finished, teacher. You finish all of them. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in this moment I show my screen. Aha, uh -huh. but tell me, what is the most serious impact? Loss of customer. Loss of customer, really? Yes, yeah, could be. Really? Because when you lose is a, a customer, is the company lost customer? To... The people they okay, but that's for the company. What about casualties? Remember, you lose a life. Oh, what's the, oh, okay. I don't know. That depends. <laughs> that depends on the point of view. You understand? We were, we were capital, speaking we about. <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> as an employee, for me, casualties is, is the most serious impact. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe uh, for, the, for the company, the loss of customers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or the financial <laughs> loss. <laughs> Because, you are correct. <laughs> because financial loss comes from loose, uh, loss of customers and business interruption. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, I'm going to bring you back, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, if you finish discussing them, okay? Very good. So... Okay, very good, guys. Before we go, I just want you to see this, to check this real quick, please. Okay? Let me let me prepare it for you because I have it right here. Okay. Okay, you you may turn your microphones off. Okay. Okay, now can you see what I have on the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so There's you have to start. Work. You have yes. to start so you don't accumulate work. You have to start working on the. You have to start working on the. On the on the task. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here section number four. Okay, assessing risk. So we already worked yesterday, and you can do. Homework number one, okay? That is 4.1, okay? Which is very easy. It's about, if you already did this, very good for you. But this is kind of easy, okay? Okay, for example, here. Consequence or damage that is so serious that it's impossible to undo. So you see, very easy definitions. 
aim to protect Auto. someone something from hazardous situation? So that is very simple questions, okay? That is homework number 4.1, 4.1. Now, if we go to 4.2, 4 is also very easy, 4.3. So you can do 4.3 already because it's very easy. Okay, it's about passive voice. I have finished the job. So the job has finished. Has been finished by me. Uh huh. Has the job been has been finished, finished by, by me. me. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's only five items. Five items. Very easy. Okay. Very easy. So you can do homework four point three two. Now, if we go to the next task which is what we saw today, what we saw today, so you can do task 4.5. It's also very simple, very easy. Okay, can you see? Instruction. Read the following conversation between employees at a manufacturing plant. You remember this about the goggles have been taken away? What items is Joel looking for? Very simple. What is the new safety measure about? Example of equipment in a construction. What is the purpose of the safety plan? So four simple questions. So you can do those, okay? Do finish all this by tomorrow. So tomorrow you only have to do a homework 4.7. Okay? So you do homework 4.1, 4, 4. 4. 5, uh, 3, and 4.5. And tomorrow you are going to do 4.7. Okay? So tomorrow and Friday, you only have to do this, and Saturday, the final exam, and we finish, okay? Because the grades, I have to upload them. I have to upload the grades on uh, at, at noon. So hurry up with that. Any more questions? No, teacher, thanks. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much for your attendance today. I really appreciate your uh, your cooperation and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye, bye. Good night. Okay. See you Good night, tomorrow. Bye, bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Okay. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Have Bye. a Bye. wonderful night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Hey, Osman, where is Osman? Rafael or Bessie, do you want to have the interview? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, so stay. Bye, okay. Adi. Bye, Medellin. So stay here because we're going to have the interview. Bye, Medellin. Okay. Bye, Annie. Bye, Rafael. Okay, so what do you want to talk about, Bessie? Tell me. My what assistant. To reinforce? First, my, if I have problems today with my car. Uh -huh. and what then, happened? Uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, we, the engine, we... The engine didn't start? No, I have problem uh, first. It was, I, I, I have to go to Sonsonate. You had to go to Sonsonate? Yes, and then uh, we are making, um, on our project, we are making donations. You, uh -huh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. And then, well, my car was here like five, five months, right? In the in house. And uh -huh. maybe- So you didn't use it in five months? Oh, yes, I use it, but not as so long. Uh, uh, no long trips. travels. No long travels. Travels, trips. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, 
well, I don't know. I really, I don't know in this moment. And then the, the, la seguranza? Uh -huh, the insurance. The insurance. Go and kill me, but I come here to my house very nice. Very late. What time very did you late. come to the house? I was right over here, 8, uh -huh. 40. Yeah, that's why you got in late, right? Yeah, two. <laughs> the first one and the second in the one hour, in the first hour. And then I, I was, uh, I don't know if this is going to affect because uh, I, I didn't, I have, how you say, um, una molestación que, era, que ya no podía faltar. No, but you have, practically, you have two absences, okay? Yeah. And then there were one, two, three, three times that you got in late. So that is, that is okay, but don't miss, like, for example, four times that you got in late. So don't miss tomorrow okay. on time, if you, okay. if you can, and Friday tomorrow. on time. Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Tomorrow is Thursday. And Friday, I'm going to be at home. Okay. I'm going to make home office. Ah, okay, very good. So get on time both days, okay? So to make sure okay. that you have the required minutes, okay? Okay. So what else do you want to talk about? Um, well, um, I, what I can say, there is a lot of uh, new vocabulary right over here in all the, the class mm -hmm. we have. And then I think um, I'm learning more. There is, there is a lot of things I never hear in my life in English, what that means. And, and um, I think I'm learning. I'm learning in the new vocabulary or may, maybe I have to say technical vocabulary, right? Well, that is work vocabulary in a specific work areas. Vocabulary. Okay. In a specific because we area. have a program for all these things like hazards and and all uh, the problems with damaging and things like that in the office. But I never, uh, never what? You never uh, thought what what were they called? <laughs> in English. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What they were called in English? That's in correct. English. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's why they call it English for work. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, and then... where, let me ask you something. Where did you yeah. learn English, Bessie? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> because I lived three years in USA when I was little. Uh huh. And then. How and little? I was eight. Eight years old. And you yes. lived three days. I mean, three years. Yes. I and will. you went to school there. Yes. Uh huh. May I, may I know how old are you now? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. No problem. <laughs> no, I don't have problem with my age. I'm very proud of my age because uh, each a each a you each, learn a, each, each what each year each year each uh -huh. birthday. <laughs> I always remember the the grateful gratitude. Uh huh. The gratitude. gratitude. I always remember the gratitude. Mm hmm. For all the things that we live and more this year. Yeah. Especially and then this. Mon um, uh, on Monday, I'm going to be thirty nine. Ah, thirty nine. Huh? You you're young. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. But every everybody thinks that I'm I am like. 29 and that's great for me i thought because yes. of your voice because i i don't see your your picture i don't know if you can turn the camera on no, i try but my my computer is um how you say don't have the doesn't have doesn't have uh-huh the the ah so you cannot turn on the camera no i have problems look i'm going to do it but I don't have, I have problems with the camera. This ah, is, okay. Zoom is unavailable to the take a camera. And then I, I send this problem to Informatica to, 
uh -huh, to, to the computer uh, or computer system uh -huh, to computer to system the uh -huh. department of uh -huh, computer department and the the manager tell me that i need a new pieces uh, a new computer and that's great for me maybe i'm going to <laughs> to remember they're going to give you one so you are still at work uh, i have to work le the later because i have to to send a, an inform to a, 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 an inform or report a report a report at eight o'clock and then it's going to be a long night for me tonight ah okay and uh it's a uh, long day yeah and but uh you are at home or you are at the office no i am at home I so home. and the equipment like your computer is from the company it's from the company it's a laptop it's a laptop but i have uh -huh. six years with this laptop uh -huh. so you've been having you've been having that laptop for six years haven't uh -huh. that's correct mm -hmm. probably probably they're gonna give you a new one it's time for a change oh first god for a lot of change <laughs> changes. Yes, changes changes Okay. Because I I can't put uh, my photo, my picture. Mm -hmm. I can't do it too. Oh, you don't know how to do it. Uh, no, it's the, for the same problem. Ah, I, it doesn't show. Uh -huh. The camera mm -hmm. doesn't show your picture. Exactly. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. And uh, now look. Uh, if, probably next in on the next because i have taught you know i rarely rarely they give me courses in basic okay, okay. all the time they give me courses in intermediate and in, in advanced okay so i have taught all this all these courses so intermediate three is going to be very interesting okay. because it's going to be about logistics Oh, great. Warehouses. And probably you are going to learn things that probably you didn't know or that you knew, but you didn't know how they were named or how they mm -hmm. were called. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's pretty good. And also Intermediate 4 is very, okay. very, very interesting. Now, Intermediate 5 is more like for human resources. Mm, intermediate okay. 4 and Intermediate 5. Okay, so you learn vocabulary from all the areas, okay? Great. Which is good, okay? Yes, because I, I have to look all the areas in the company. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because you work with projects and sometimes you, have, you need to assess, to evaluate the companies, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then I am the... the I, I have the cargo. The charge. Uh, you are. Charge. I am in charge. I am in charge of the department of public relations. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then, and my boss is a. Uh, and my boss I speak every time, every day, and every moment in English. And then, I have to put attention. <laughs> A lot of uh -huh. pay, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. pay attention. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, hey, so, I mean, uh, whenever, remember, what you need to do right now, Bessie, is that you have a lot of vocabulary. Uh, mm -hmm. You see, you have fluency, which is the most difficult. And what you need to do is practice. That means. And, and concentrate. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Just uh, whenever you have the opportunity to, to speak in English, do it. Because that's what you need. Okay. You need to be in contact, speaking English. That's what you need. The that's more correct. you speak, the better you get. Okay. The more that you speak, the more that you use the vocabulary that you have there in your memory. But because you don't use it, you don't know that there is there. Mm -hmm. But the more you talk, the more that you use it. So you are mm -hmm. like recycling all the vocabulary that you already know. Okay, teacher. 
So what you have to do is every, every single possible time to speak English, don't hesitate, go and speak. Okay. okay? Hesitate is need. like in Spanish, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate is no dude. Ah, okay. Don't hesitate, no dude. Okay. Okay, so okay. go ahead. Hey, people like Americans, you know, I have taught, I have taught not English to Americans, but because I'm an industrial engineer and I also work in some projects in some areas in industrial engineer and I have to teach Americans. Okay. And I have to do it in English and I don't care if I make a mistake, you know, most of the time they tell me, hey, your English is good. Okay. Uh -huh. I know that I'm, I might make a mistake. But it's not going to break my a finger or mm -hmm. my, my teeth or I'm going to lose an eye if I make a mistake. That, do you mm -hmm. think that I'm going to feel embarrassed? No. No. <laughs> hey. Okay. No. Don't worry about it. You're practicing. That's what it counts. And what it counts is the more you practice, the more fluent, the more the, the vocabulary you are uh, recycling all the time. Okay. Okay. Because, for example, all this vocabulary, if you don't use it in a month, I ask you what is property damage, and probably you don't remember. Or probably what is uh, casualties. casualties. But if you use it, if you use it, it's going to be right there. Okay. Available whenever you want to talk. Okay, great. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, it was a pleasure talking to you, okay? Thank you. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, very good. Have a wonderful... Ah, and another thing. Okay, if you need training in other areas, I'm, all, I'm also a, a certified by INSA4 in other areas. So if you need training, you give me a call, okay? Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye. Okay, bye-bye.